Welcome to our tutorial on the Animation Wizard. First, let's create an exploded view. I'm going to right-click and select Zoom In Out. Right-click, deselect. Now select Exploded View. Let's select the top housing. Grab this arrow and drag upward. Select the top housing again. Grab the blue arrow and move the top housing again. As you see, SolidWorks has added a second step. Next, I'll grab the buttons and move them up as well. Step 4, let's click on the buttons again. Let's move them in the X direction. Step 5, let's click on the circuit board and drag it up as well. Click on the circuit board again and move it in the negative X direction. That's our sixth step. We see a total of six steps in our Explode Manager step list. Let's click OK. Now we'll go to the Motion Study tab. First, let's check to see how this works. Right click, Collapse. Right click, Explode. Let's right-click and collapse again. Next, let's activate the Animation Wizard. Here we've got five options for the type of animation, Rotate Model, Explode, Collapse, Physical Simulation, and Cosmos Motion. These last two options are currently grayed out. I'm going to select Rotate Model and press Next. Here we've got three choices for an axis of rotation X, Y, or Z. As you see, in the preview window, the rotation of the model had changed. Let's check the Y axis and the Z axis. Again, the preview changed. I'm going to choose the Y axis. For a rotation direction, we can choose clockwise or counterclockwise. Let's choose clockwise. We'll leave the number of rotations at 1. Now let's press Next. Here we can set the duration of the entire animation in seconds. Let's leave it at 10. Below we enter the start time. Zero is the beginning of our timeline. At this point I'm ready to click Finish. We see two change bars in our timeline. This bar represents the total length of our animation. This bar underneath represents the total length of the rotation. The diamonds represent key points. If I mouse over, a callout appears. This key point is at 4 seconds. I also see a preview of the model at this time in that position. Let's click play and see how it looks. We see our model rotating. If we find that our rotation speed is too slow, we can increase the speed to 200%. Let's play it again. This time, click Play from Start. Now our model rotates twice as quickly. Let's increase the animation speed even more, let's say to 500%. From this drop-down menu, select the Loop Playback Mode. And let's play from the start again. Now our model rotates quickly and plays in a loop. Let's click Stop. Another playback mode option I'd like to demonstrate is Reciprocate. Let's select this option and play again. Now the model rotates back and forward. Let's click Stop. I can move the key points by dragging them to a new position on the timeline. With this done, you see now that the model rotates unevenly. Let's click Play from the start. You see that the speed changed during the rotation. You see that we also don't have any action yet under the individual components. Let's go ahead and run the animation wizard again. This time I'll choose the explode animation type. Click Next. 
You may remember that we had six steps in our exploded view. By default, the duration of the animation is set correspondingly to six seconds. Let's increase it to 10. Let's leave our start time at zero so that the animation begins at the zero second mark. And we're ready to click finish. You see now that we have three more change bars in our timeline, representing the top housing, circuit board, and buttons. Let me zoom out a little bit and expand the top housing. We see the change bar was added under the explode parameter of top housing. Let's play it again. I'm going to leave the speed at 500% and play from the beginning. And we now see our exploded assembly. Okay, we stop. I can also simply drag the time bar and drag it across the timeline to see my animation. I can also drag the slider and position it in the precise location where I'd like to start my playback. Let's run the animation wizard again. This time we'll select the collapse mode. Click next. As you see, the start time now appears where the time slider is located on the timeline. Let's change this value to 20. Tab. Once again, the duration appears by default at 6 seconds, corresponding to the number of steps we have. Let's leave it as as is and click finish. And we see three more change bars in our timeline. The total length of the animation is extended as well, up to 21 seconds. Let's play our animation again. The model rotates, explodes, and collapses. And this concludes our tutorial on the animation wizard.